Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly create shared folders on the virtual box and along the way I'm going to be showing you how to fix the issues you may encounter because I faced some so yeah let's just begin. So I've created this folder on my desktop it's just called VM folder it is currently empty so I have two pictures over here that I'll be putting in the folder after I have linked the folder to my virtual box. So first of all to link your folder you just need to go to settings Make sure you have selected the profile, select it and then you select settings. Next you come down here to shared folders, click it. As you can see I don't have any shared folders. So what you need to do is to click here to create your folder. So you come here, you click this button down here and you click other to browse where your folder is. So like I said, mine is in the desktop called VM folder. So I'll click desktop and this is VM folder. So I'll select it and click select folder so you can give it a name you want um, I'm just going to leave it the way it is and then I'm going to click auto mount if you decide to select this option the virtual machine will not be able to create files or send files into this folder but it can only take files from the folder it's a good way to keep your host machine safe so, so after that click OK and this shows that we have created the shared folder so click ok now i'm going to start windows 10 in the virtual box so usually to find your shared folders you just go to this pc and from here you'll be able to find the shared folder under network locations now mine is visible but if for any reason you're not able to find yours here are the steps you should follow so first of all i'm going to minimize this and then i'll shut down the computer by clicking power off the machine after doing that, select your operating system, click settings, head over to storage, and then over here it says controller. You click this to create an optical drive. Just come here and click leave empty, and an empty drive will be created for you. Just click OK. And then you start your virtual machine again. Alright, so after starting the operating system again, what you want to do is to come up here to devices and then you click insert guest addition CD image. So this is going to show up. Just click it. Click open folder to view files. You can also click here. Just click this one. Then install. Click next, next, install and uh, just wait for it to get done. It's going to ask you to reboot, but I forgot to mention this. If you don't see this option up here, what you need to do is to press the control button on your keyboard, the right control button, not the left one, and then you press F. So doing this now has made it full screen. If I do it again, oh, it just restarted. But if I did it again, then it will be, yeah, to be minimized and you'll see the option up here. So I'm going to wait for this to finish restarting and then I'm going to head back to the video. Okay, so the operating system is fully loaded again. So I'm just going to minimize it and then I'm going to move these pictures into this folder here. And a new folder was created. I have no idea why, so I'm going to delete it. All right, so now I can go back. And then I'll open this PC. So this is where the shared folder is. You should see yours as well. As you can see, I have the files here, the pictures. So if I double click on any of them, I'll be able to view it from here. So I can just click this to view the next picture. That is how you create shared folders on the Oracle virtual machine. Hopefully this has helped you in case you're having issues with it. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond. Thank you for watching.